Hey you guys, so I just wanted to share some stuff that I learned with you. I'm not a financial advisor, do not do what I do. I'm playing with profits. Um, and yeah, I've only been trading for 10 months, so don't do anything that I do. I'm just telling you what I'm learning as I learn it. Here we go. Sologenic is about to airdrop $250 million worth of their coins to XRP holders and to solo holders. So you, if you're an XRP holder and you have XRP, you have to create something called a link and you have create a trust line with your own private wallet to claim the airdrops. Um, you can also buy solo, but right now solo is at $2.66. Uh, what is solo? It is tokenized securities on demand. A uh, sophisticated ecosystem utilizing the on-demand tokenization of a wide range of assets from traditional financial markets or privately owned. You guys can read this. You know me. I don't like to go into it. Sologenic.com. They also have Sologenic.org. There's a wallet. Uh, just be very careful. Don't 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 go by this website. This is what I found online. Just be very careful with what you're clicking on. That's what one of the guy who told me about this said. He's like, when you're creating the trust line, make sure it's the correct link. I'm not doing that right now until I know exactly how this works or what I'm doing. Or I might contact um, my wallet and ask them how to create a trust line for the airdrop. Um, because I don't want to do it incorrectly. So I'm just letting you guys know. This is their Twitter page. Real Sologenic, I guess. Let's go to the website. Usually you scroll to the bottom. So just wanted to throw that out in case you guys, if that's your price range, you're interested. I only bought 11, really not trying to go all in or anything like that. But I figured, hey, if this turns into Solana, I'm not going to miss out this time. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like you guys know my story if you've been watching my channel. All right. So that's that. Then there is Cardia Chain, which I was talking to you guys about. Um, I bought this a long time ago and I realized that they're connected to Cardia Ventures, but I'm going to talk about labs in a little bit. Um, they have a DEX. Now everybody's coming out with their own DEX. A DEX is basically like an exchange. Um, this is V2 and I'm not clicking on any of these links, but they have their own DEX. So I have a feeling that the, hopefully the coin that I bought is going to be worth something when the DEX makes money. Most of the DEX with time, after they've proven themselves, if they haven't failed. We'll make anywhere from like one to ten dollars. So or more. So for example, Qcoin right now is at $25 and I got in at a dollar when it first started. Um and you know like you can as long as you own six Qcoin you can earn free Qcoin every single day. So that's what I did and I cashed out the free Qcoin recently so that I can go ahead and buy some other things, right? So that's how I'm, I'm like reinvesting profits, right? But I still have my original investment in there with all of the, the gains, right? Um, BNB right now is at $600 and that was at pennies at, at some point. So this is going to be an exchange. The coin is KAI. Oh, let's go over here and do it. I don't know what's going to happen with this. They say that, um, okay, I'm, my God, don't freeze on me now. Okay, yeah, Cardia Chan. I don't know if there's going to be a separate coin for the DEX, but KAI is Cardia Chain, and now they have a DEX. It's at 10 cents. If this blows up to like five or ten dollars, I'm going to be very happy. Um, I mean, it's not much, but I might be able to get a nice used car. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I don't. I really don't even remember how much I bought. Um, I don't think it's a lot. K A I. Hold on. A B C D F G H I J K N M I T E. Yeah, no, I have like two hundred eighty-three, so it's not a big deal. You know, like if it goes up to ten dollars, that's like two grand, which is nice off of a five dollar and fifty cent investment. But if it goes even higher and it's a good DEX, you know what I mean? Like, that's nice money, you know? Um, but we'll see what happens with this because clearly 
I'm six sexing on this right now. So that's Cordia Chain. It's coming out with the Dex. Uh, FEG is coming out also with the Dex. And then they also say that Safe Moon is coming out with the Dex. So it, it doesn't matter who comes out with the Dex. Gemini has a Dex. Let's see how much Gemini is. Gemini is an exchange. I think it's this one. Oh, it doesn't tell you. I guess I have to click the other one. Gemini, Gemini. I guess they have a stable coin, Gemini dollar, 0.993 call. Yeah, it's a stable coin. So stable coins usually stay in this realm. So I guess Gemini might not have a coin yet. Hmm. Let's go look at these other ones that I was telling you about. FEG is supposed to be coming out with the decks, which I don't think that they're going to come out with anytime soon, but we'll see. That's at like nothing. So we'll see what FEG actually really does. Safe Moon, which everybody was going cuckoo over, remember? Is also really low. They're supposed to be coming out with the decks. That's supposed to blow it up to like a few cents. Um, and then Bit4x is where you can buy solo. So when you're trying to buy solo, solo, the only places you can buy it are these places, right? So if you have an account with these, you'll be able to buy it. So then I started looking at Bitforex because um, I know that's where a lot of people bought Ecomi. I don't know if you guys remember Ecomi. Ecomi. And that is this site. And that's gone up a little bit. Um, and this is supposed to be premium licensed digital collectibles. So everybody was like, Ecomi, Ecomi, Ecomi. Like, there was like a phase where everybody was Ecomied out. Um, so that's still up there waiting to see if that's going to blow up. Bitforex is an exchange that's been, that a few coins are selected to go there, meaning they're not on all of them. They're not on Qcoin. They might just be on Bitforex. As you buy crypto, you'll realize that some exchanges carry some coins, but not others. And you might have to be part of like multiple ones. So this is one of the ones that I know carried, um, cause I was thinking about joining it. They carried uh, he called me, but that's the only coin that I wanted that they carried, so it wasn't beneficial for me to do it. But then I thought, well, wait a minute, I saw it again, and you know, like now I'm going through that whole like follow your intuition, the signs are guiding you to buy what you need to buy to set you up for your future, right? So then I'm like, wait a minute, I've seen this before, let me look at it again, let me look at it as a token. So then I went ahead and I looked at the BF token, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, this is super cheap, right? So then I figured out that on this one you can buy on obviously its exchange and then these other ones. And I was like, wait a minute, this is crazy. Well, it's actually more, well, cause you're, I guess you're buying it from them. So it's cheaper if you buy it from them. But on this is also Bitcoin, but it's cheaper if you buy it from them than if you buy it from your bit. Cause I was like, I didn't even realize the price difference. Um, but for like $25, or something like that, you can get like 5,000 coins or $23 or something like that. I don't know. You have to do the math yourself. But roughly, just if you wanted to get into it, then that's kind of like what you're going to be spending to get like 5,000 coins. Now imagine for $25, it goes up to a dollar. You know, but we don't know. We It's speculative. You never know what's going to happen. But this one's been around for a while, and I see that it's growing. Um, let's go look at the all. It was really high when it started in 2019. So it's an exchange that's been around for about two years. Uh, and then it dropped down to here. Oh man, I wish I would have got in there, but I mean, it's not that far off. Then it peaked again when everything peaked and then it dropped again. So now we'll see what happens over the next years. It depends on if they come out with their own coins, like a BNB or if, Whatever it is they decide to do. But I mean, if Qcoin can go up to $25 in a relatively short amount of time. Um, this is two years old. KCS. It's Qcoin. 
I heard about KuCoin last July and I didn't get in when it was like nothing. I got in at a dollar, which is still good because now it's at $26.71. Um, I only bought like 49, but you know, I got like 10 of them for free. So I sold those 10 to then buy the stuff that I bought last week. Um, and it started in two all 2017. So this exchange has been around for four years, which is pretty much as long as BNB, but we'll go look at BNB. Um, the highest was 1783. So if it goes, and now it's now it's actually higher than that. It was low, 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 all the way over here. I got in right around here. And then it went and it's been going up and now it's at its highest, all time high. Then we have BNB, which is another exchange, but they actually started minting coins. Like they created like they're the safe moon is on their exchange and you know, like where, where there are these BNB coins on the BNB platform and network. And that's what caused this huge surge is all these coins that are on it, uh, all as, as well as other things. And this has been around again for four years because I remember them saying like, oh, well, you know, Binance has only been around for four years and look at the growth. And right around here, see if I would have got in right around here, I was going to buy one and I didn't like an idiot. But um, it doesn't matter because I use BNB to buy stuff, so I always have some around. But if you just bought one, you would have 600 and, you know, like let's say you bought 10, you would have had six grand if you would have waited. Because a lot of people sold here, then they sold here because they got scared, then they sold here. Then they... It just depends on where you sell. But we don't know what's going to happen with Binance, but you need Binance to buy the coins that they created, which is why the demand is always here now. Because there's so many coins that they have, you need the co you need BNB to buy the coin, which is why this is happening. So if all of these other exchanges follow suit, create coins on platforms that need their token to buy the coin, then prices can go up. So I just wanted to go over that with you guys. Labs, some guy was talking about it, but he's a weirdo. He's really cool. I wouldn't say weirdo, but he's eccentric on YouTube. And he recommends the same, like a lot of the coins that I buy, he recommends, but then I get out because I realized I did my research and I realized they're not good coins, but he kind of like holds in and he really believes that they're going to do well because of the formula that I was using as well. But now that I'm actually doing research, cause I've been screwed over, uh, not screwed over, but I didn't do my research and therefore I lost money because I was investing in coins that were already on like going down and the project was already over. So people were like getting out and here I am getting in. Um, so I learned from that, which is what, you know, you're learning on this channel. So this one is actually growing and it's called labs all it was, it started in this year, March high 12 cents dropped all the way down here and now it's going up. Now what labs is, hold on, is invest in real estate with just a hundred dollars. Seems like a good project. I mean, I don't really know what's going to happen with it in the long run. Um, it's a digitized real estate investment ecosystem powered by blockchain, crowdfunding platform. Um, so I, I gave it $5 because I figured if it's this low, I literally just gave it, maybe it was $4, but I was like, you know what, whatever. If it does blow up and something happens, awesome. If not, I lost $5. I can live with that. So there's that one that popped up. And then just for people who want to accept Bitcoin for payment on their website, there is a website called BitPay. Oh, I'm not going to click on that. I'm going to let you guys go to BitPay um, and figure that out. But you can start accepting crypto uh, through that forum in case you are looking to sell products on your website or accept payment for services. That is something you could use. I'm not sponsored yet by anything or anyone. I would be really thoroughly surprised if somebody contacts me and tells me they want me to do a sponsorship. I would be like, absolutely. I will take crypto in payment. Thank you. Um, but yeah. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. This one's a really short video, but this is just an update on everything that's been going on.